and all that stuff. It's not solved yet, but there are good proposals. Uh, let's talk about the summer. So in the in the winter time, we have little streets here. There are be very, very small streets here. There company, but wonderful people in it. Peter is here right now. And the, um, Fiona was the musician in it. And her brother Isa was the only one who ever learned how to text by heart. <laughs> He also had heard that, that and we did it at the uh, co-op in Hardwick and at the, what's it called, the coffee house in Montpelier where Alexis always exhibits and where there is a big mural Rabble. on the, Rabble. Uh, what's it called, Rabble Rabble. Houses. And there was a non-Rabble housing audience there, but it was good to do it there. So it's an anti-war show with um, bombardment of a table with a loaf of bread and with reference to history of American aggressions. Uh, for example, the totally forgotten Iraq war that killed millions of people and drove millions of people from their homes that isn't referred to anymore. When other people do what they call evil, yeah, it doesn't exist. So we made the history lesson into that show earlier than that we had shorter versions of that. Remember, Erica and George, we went to Burlington on invitation by Robin Lloyd and did some very simple ones, which is a batch, painted bed sheet, short text, short dance, which very short, even shorter than short. And uh, so these techniques, going out in the street, super important. That's where theater really belongs, and that's what we have to do. No venue, just parking lot or street. And we need to do it. The situation is horrendous. Mother Earth doesn't even get talked about anymore because the other stuff is so fashionable and prominent. It's so much fun to point to an evil carnival and uh, that fun is exploited quietly. And uh, the real considerations what that war is all about is not even explored. We haven't learned yet what the environmental damage was from when, when Mr. Biden blew up that Russian gas line. Uh, it's supposedly the biggest one in many, many decades. And so no reporting on that one at all. Mm -hmm. Uh, then even the guessing that, oh, maybe there wasn't good uh, for what sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. And as you know, okay, yeah, the world is changing. So the European communist, uh, uh, economy is now vassal to the U.S. almost totally. It's uh, not its own anymore at all. And yeah, they're all fighting that big war against Russia, ultimately against China. That's the deeper meaning of it. The Germany must be uh, rewarded and maintained. That's the most important thing. And that's the politics. And those politics are not in the papers. 
So they belong in the street, and that's what we will do diligently and continuously. So we either make little or big street companies, all these little no paintings that are put all over the place, uh, rather Raphael did. That's all part of those shows that go out in the street. And I want to use the clay yard this year as early in spring as we can. We didn't during the COVID years, we barely made any. So I want to build big pot beds in the clay yard as soon as we can get our feet in the clay and stomp it and get it ready and borrow some hay from Maria or other farmers to mix into it, make it bigger. Same old thing, you know, big clay figures. And then we go from there. And they are not characters of plots. They are just big clay monsters. And then they get assigned and tied out for what they are good for. What they are good for. That's how it happens. So. And we are going to start the summer with the street shows, hopefully next week. And from then, it's a preparation for a tour that gets the title of one of these uh, 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 a bedsheet series that is called the, uh, what's it called? Rescue Squad. No, not the rescue. Inflammatory Squad. Earthling Rants. Yeah, the, yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the shouting <laughs> wrestling, right? What's it called? Inflammatory Earthling Rants, yeah. So we want to go after that, meaning there needs to be a lot of ranting that has to be written, uh, hopefully specific to scenes, and that will be done in the process of rehearsing movements, wild dances, not just octogenarian, but also other age groups, toddlers, and uh, that's basically what I want to say. So the- Are you still interested in Kropotkin? Yes, and Kropotkin. So, 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 so. <laughs> so there's a whole series on Kropotkin things. I don't know if you have had a chance to look into this, these two major volumes that we are using as one is mutual aid. That's the famous countering to Darwin. So capitalism is Darwinism, basically. Kropotkin is communism and anarchy. Uh, they, and since he's a zoologist, biologist, he has all the knowledge you need for proving his point, which is that in animal kingdom, Darwinism is bullshit, it's not true. That's not how species survive, not by fighting with each other, by, by collaborative efforts. Just as Peter Wolleben, the, the forester, points out that that's how forests survive, mm -hmm. by collaborative efforts, not by fighting each other. So these things are giant. They are not part of the lingo of the day or of New York Times articles. You know. They are hidden truths. They are true, simply true, and gigantic and I mentioned, and don't have any influence on behavior of our governments at all, none whatsoever, because they're unacknowledged. So they belong in the street. There's a fantastic one in the uh, mutual aid where Kropotkin says the Hottentots, that's a group of uh, Africans who sort of get cited when you want about the boots, the, the, the ancient brutal, what they call savages. And then that, that's the name of Hottentots. <coughs> and he points out when Hottentots eat, they do not allow themselves to eat unless they have made excessive attempts to call for anybody who's hungry. So they call out in three directions, three times, for anybody who's hungry. And only then do they eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little mm -hmm. superior to Western civilizations, fine restaurants. <laughs> I must say, yeah. So that's what we want to learn from. Uh, uh, excerpt him, quote him, go after him, you know, get him in the center of things, and people learn about him. He's an amazing writer and researcher. So, yeah. So Kropotkin, thank you. That's important. <laughs> thank you, Peter. Long dear Savior, oh how long shall this cry our delay? Thy swift around, thy wheels around, thy wheels around, thy wheels around, and bring the promised day. Thy swift.
swift around thy 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 and bring the promise from what her longest sight from peers to our believing eyes the earth and seas are cast away the earth and seas are cast away And groans and, and grace.